Hey, it's uh, Containerman68. Uh, to all those that are curious, well, this is just one one thing I've done here recently. Well, no, not recently, but I put all these together, all these kits together. And y'all thinking that I'm, uh, I don't know, I guess, I don't know. What do you think? What do you think when you, you know I keep talking about all my containers and, and whatnot and what I have out that I'll be showing you here in a little bit and the pictures that are either before this or after this which I haven't figured out where I'm going to put all this but I think other than what are is still in packages that I haven't opened up yet which are two containers plus two chassis these are probably the most chassis that I have at the moment and uh, we'll just let you uh, let all this sink in for a little bit <laughs> so there's a one two three four there and there's one two three four there's one two three four and those are those are herpas they are stationary some of these are uh, Walther's kits and tandems there's a single i made a single axle all these are walther's kits so there's five on that one there's five on that one the orange ones and then there's five on that one oops let's get out a little bit uh there's five on that one no there's only four one two three four there's only four on that one there's a double tank container chassis which is a herpa those are herpas and there's five there uh, those are Walther's kits, and there's, what, five there, and there's five back there. They're, they're extendable from 40 to 48, and then those, the bottom one is a 53-foot chassis with two tank container chassis, and these would actually individually hold these like this, and you'd only hold one because technically when they're loaded, you can't put them on a regular chassis, even a triple axle. Like some of these herpas are triple. I don't think you could even put both of them if they were loaded onto a single chassis. And that's also why they're they're a spread axle too. So you distribute the weight over a longer period, a longer stretch. But if they're empty, you can haul them double. And then, of course, you just... I'm wanting to make me a a loader that will actually take these and flip them I've actually seen it it's been a while back but I'm I can't find it anymore on the web but it actually takes these picks them up and then flips them 180 degrees upside down and then sets it down that's one loader I want to make the other loaders take these longer ones and set them up set them up in a chassis whoops <laughs> that's a pretty good grab set them up in a chassis rack that holds them like this that's the second one loader I want to make so like I said these are just I think these are the I made all these in the truck one day well not one day but a whole bunch of days these are just these are that's the way they come those the doubles and the triple herpas but these you have to put together and you decide on which way you want to put the landing gear. So I think all these, no, this one is not. And that was good. That was a good one. <laughs> I made these, uh, the short legs there. So that can actually go on a truck. I think the rest of them are long so they can go set up. These are stretched. These are stretched. The back out it's stretched out otherwise it well it's kind of hard to see uh, yeah how do I tell that how do I tell the difference <laughs> here like this that's that's in and you can position this out when you build it she actually goes that way There. See, it does set. It does set. See these? Huh? Gotta glue them together. Those might be glued together. 
Nope, they're not glued together. But anyway. And as you'll see in some of my other pictures that I got, uh, I think it goes that way. Yeah. And of course, they'll be chained down and strapped. Some people chain them, some strap. Some of these people, they'll haul just four and put them on a flatbed. And I do have a flatbed. But uh, I have, uh, I think I have another box of, yeah, I got two more boxes of trucks and another box of uh, trailers to go through. But I'm just going to go through. I'm showing you, these are the cell pile. Because I got a whole bunch of plastic one, or uh, paper ones that I've made. And I'll show them those red ones I'm keeping. Because those red ones go with that container crane back there. But, yeah. So, I got to get back to uh, playing, I guess, right? 